Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for January 15th through January 21st. This is for the sign of Aries and this is a, going to be a general and a love combined. This is my Angel Answers deck and what this is, is it's where you ask a question and the, this will hopefully reveal your answer. So while I'm shuffling and throughout this reading, think of your question. Think of a question you'd like to have answered, okay? Uh, you know, it, it will be like a yes or no answer, or it could be a time frame, something like that. This, this is going to give you some kind of answer, hopefully. So think of your question, and at the end of the reading, the uh, card will be revealed. Now I have pre-shuffled this deck. This is the Thelema, but I am going to shuffle it just a little bit more. Mm. I might take my cloth off. I'm getting sick of it. Um, you guys may be feeling a little bit discontent at the beginning of the week. You know, you may be feeling like you're, you are detaching from something or, you know, that you're just blocking love or love's not coming in. It feels like you're feeling down. And I'm sorry to start the week out like that. But, you know, it feels like you're, you are feeling down about something. Um, you might be clearing away some kind of obstacles in your life. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe you ha maybe you are deciding that you need to make do compromise on something. You're making some compromises, and that includes getting rid of something. You know, and that doesn't mean that it's a person, but you're you're clearing away some kind of obstacles. That's what it appears. You know, you're just doing what's right for you okay it feels like with that four of cups there you may be feeling like you've met you've had you've lost some kind of opportunity you're looking for more um you may be you may have been over analyzing things and you've come to a point where you don't need this anymore something whatever it is we'll find out You don't need some type of stress. You don't need some kind of this worry. It's like, yeah, you're letting something go. It's like, I don't know what it is, but it's something that caused you some conflicts. It caused it put some barriers up for you. Something that was very um, competitive in your life. It's like, I don't need this anymore. I've decided that I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to let it go. You know, with this page of swords here, there's a very intense energy. You've been observing something. It's like you have been observing your life or you've been observing and analyzing something very, very much. So much that you've come to a point that I got some big changes ahead of me. There's a lot of things that I need to get rid of. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're analyzing your past. You're analyzing your life. And you've come to the point where these things that were in your life that were obstacles they don't need to be there anymore it's it's time it's like i need to let this go what is it yeah you've been stuck in a certain spot yeah you have you've certainly been stuck and now you have it's like i i it's time for me to make this change it's like you've reached this uh period where there's no more forward movement. I can't move forward anymore. I don't see any more. Um, I don't see peace going in this direction. I don't see harmony. I don't see 
where my wishes will be fulfilled if I keep going down this road. So it feels like you're letting something drop. You're dropping something. You're just, yeah, that's what it is. I'm dropping this. Oh my gosh. You have, if you haven't done it, you're doing it now. It's like the time has come. The time has come for me to release. The time has come for me to, to be free again. Okay, so I th there's definitely something you're freeing yourself from something. Okay, a because it's not serving you anymore. Where it served you before, it's like this doesn't serve me. This doesn't serve me anymore. So, it, you know, I've I've taken the time to plan. I've taken the time. I've definitely overanalyzed this to the point where I know it's time. The time is now to release this. It's just caused me too much stress. It's caused me. Um, too much thought, really. I mean, I've thought about it so much that I can't, it doesn't, there's no use. Nothing is changing. So it's really time for me to follow my own guidance and follow my own intuition and move on from this intense um, conflicts that's these trials that have been in my life. It's time for me to be honest with myself. I feel like some of you have been in a mentally restless energy and now it's time to free yourself from that. You definitely are. It's like you're compromising. It's okay. Like, okay, I understand I have to let this go. And even though it served me in the past and I've always had this connection to it, I do have to let it go because it's no longer in my plan. It's no longer on the agenda. I, I don't, I don't even care about it anymore. You know, something like that. It's like, and for some of you, there's some independence here. Okay. There's, there's some kind of feeling like, I'm just going to go out on my own. I'm going to do something on my own. I'm grateful for what I've learned. Yes, I'm grateful for what I've gained. I've, I'm grateful for all this, whatever it is, brought to me. But it's time for me to, to do something else, something that honors me. Okay? It feels like you guys are closing a door to the past and opening a new door um, that... that um, serves you better okay now this can also mean a sum of money okay so you could be getting some money this week you know maybe it's a payoff from an employer or some money you've been in, in, in expecting um maybe it's an inheritance maybe um either way this is like an, an abundance of money that could be coming into you this week you know, maybe it's a severance pay. I don't know. It just feels like um, it's a time for you to enjoy yourself, enjoy your things, enjoy what you've earned, you know, and, and that's what you're doing. It's like whatever this was, whatever this was that you had to free yourself from is bringing you about a more grateful attitude where you're feeling more grateful for everything that you have and there's really no need to to stay in a spot where you're not feeling it you could be receiving a pay increase of some sort too just saying I'm not sure I know that's that's you know, off topic, but I just have to, it just came to me. This is about love here. We are moving on to the love portion of this reading. So, yeah, you guys have been focused more on your finances than love. You know, as I'm moving on to love, no love is coming up. It's like something has happened. Something has um, became known. You know, it's like somebody's been caught or something like that. You, you, this... This feeling of be, betrayal, I think this, but that's yourself. I feel like you feel like you've betrayed yourself or you've been betrayed by somebody. There is a feeling of betrayal, but it feels like it's, on, it's been noticed, okay? It's come out. Whatever this betrayal is, it's, it's on the table. It's no longer being hidden, and you're unhappy about it. Whether it's you that have betrayed yourself by focusing on something that didn't serve you. Maybe you focused too much on your job and love 
the the love opportunity was lost okay maybe that's the case maybe you focus too much on your finances and your career and you lost the love I'm not sure but there's a lot of focus on money here a lot of focus on business a lot of focus on materialistic things okay so it feels like now you may be coming to the uh, you may be coming to the place where you realize it's really not all about those materialistic things because I see there's unhappiness in love, okay? You are what you create, by the way. You are. This is all about money. It's all about money and finances and foundations and um, the bank account, you know, that kind of thing. It is. I mean, where's the love in this reading? It's not here. It's not here because that's what you've been more focused on. You've been focused on your financial foundation and growing yourself. And it feels like you are, like I said, you are what you create. Create, And it feels like you haven't created that, uh, that love that you always desired because you didn't put the right amount of uh, energy into it. And I'm sorry, Aries, I just have to tell you what I see. I see unhappiness in love. Um, because you, you were focused on other things and I think they're materialistic things. Okay. Um, money. I think you were focused on money and it feels like, you know, to have love, you need to be able to give half and half, at least half to love, half to your job, whatever you want to say after you, whatever, you know, you figure that one out. You need to be able to balance out the two things and it feels like there's lack of balance here. Whereas you were always more focused on how how or what society thought, and now you've you've lost out on love in some way, and I'm I'm sorry I really am sorry to tell you that. Um, with the magician card, you have to be willing to shed the old, and I think that's what you're doing. That's where all this brooding comes from. Like we talked about in the beginning, we talked about you've been analyzing things, and you've had some intense feelings and some intense thoughts, and perhaps you're going to have to compromise some of your time that you've been focusing on your career and on your bank account and on your home. You may need to focus, refocus some of your time for, to live happily ever after in love. Okay, that's where this compromise comes in. It feels like um, you're giving up on the financial uh, idea of this is all it is. You know what I mean? It's like I've, I give up. I give up on that because, you know, I'm not being loved. This isn't bringing me love. Something like that. Okay, so do I see new love coming in? No, I don't. I feel like you're discontent on the love in the love arena because it feels like you're wanting more love, but you haven't really put in the effort to it. So if you don't put in the effort, you really can't expect somebody else to do that. Um, I see that you've been focused on your material success and trying to be materially successful. And when you when you focus too much on one thing, then that's what you, that's what you get, okay? And that's where you stay. So that's what I see. I mean, it feels like you've you've come a long way and I think you've come to the point where all these things aren't really what I wanted, even though they were at the time. That kind of thing. And I don't know where that's coming from, but it's here. Um, we're going to see what we can get for love with these angel romance cards. Your stability and your security, your financial stability and security has been bullet number one, okay? And love has been bullet number two. That's what I'm trying to say. And so that's why you're discontent. You still thinking of your question? What's your question? I hope you got it ready. We're almost getting there. We're getting one of these energy oracle cards. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm still getting over my cold. 
The first card is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This card comes out when it's time to communicate. Really, if you're with somebody and things are a little intense, communicate, communicate, communicate. Okay? Um, and that will deepen the bond if you feel like you're disconnected. You're disconnected in your, in your relationship. Communicate with this person. Really dig deep. Tell them some some of your innermost fears, okay? And the chances are that they will open up to you and tell you theirs, okay? So if you feel like there's there's a bond that you have with a person and it isn't something is missing, get to know them. Start by letting them know something about you and the chances are they will um, reciprocate, okay? The second card is love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. To get love, you have to love yourself first. Okay? That's all there is to it. I never did zoom that in. I apologize. Damn it. It's too late now, but whatever. Um, and you see, every word that come out of my mouth are for you. It's too late now. It's too late now. You know, those are some words to consider. Don't waste another moment. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This card, Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. This is the thought of personal vision. And this is what's going on this week. You guys are changing your thoughts. This very powerful Archangel Metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your brow chakra. Chakra or third eye. Okay. Which is, this, which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought. When this card appears upright, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and an expanded perspective toward broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taking hold and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning for you're on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's going in your life, going on in your life and why. And it's true. This is exactly what's going on. You guys have been really brooding and overanalyzing, or anal not even overanalyzing, maybe, analyzing your life, how it's been. And you're starting to realize there's, there's more. It's not all about these things. Now is the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? If you want more love, it needs to become bullet number one. Now we're going to get to your question. You have it ready? The answer to your question is behind this. Ooh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Interesting. Look how beautiful she is. She is beautiful. It's the perfect time for this change. The time is now. That's what that card means. Is the time is now. I'm going to read it to you anyway because that's what I like to do. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Ah, I knew it was the time is now. I didn't even need to read it. Um, don't delay or hesitate because an energy gateway is presently open for you. Even if you don't feel prepared, rest assured that you are. This is the perfect time for the situation you've asked, asked about. So this is a yes. Move forward with confidence. 
now, the time is now. The time is now to change your perception, to change your ways, to change your thoughts, to change your views, and to put love as bullet number one. So this is what I have, Aries. I hope it resonated. Talk to you later.